Hey fam, how's everyone doing today? Say you guys, we have not been in the kitchen in a while on Life Inspired with Mo. So I wanted to bring you guys in the kitchen and I am going to make something I thought up in my head. Um, I thought it would be a really cool appetizer uh, for the holidays, uh, for New Year's or for Christmas or whatever. So I'm trying to make it as simple and easy as possible with ingredients you either have around the house or something that's easy to get. So let's get started and I'll let you know what we're cooking. Okay fam, so here we go. We're just going to start with some bulk sausage. I decided to go with um, hot Italian sausage. We're just going to get it right here in the frying pan and get that started. We're going to start browning this sausage, and then we're just going to add some spices. I want to make this taste really, really good. So I will start adding some of my dry ingredients now. First, we'll add a little fennel, which you guys know, I, like I said, is one of my favorites to add to any dish that is using sausage. Mmm, just smell the aroma from that fennel. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. You guys need smell vision today. Now we're just going to do a little bit of just regular dry Italian seasoning. Sprinkle that in. Okay, fam, now I'm going to add just a little bit of just regular uh, brown sugar there, and then we're going to just blend that in. Well, I think this is almost ready, and we're going to set this aside and just let it cool. Okay, and we're going to start making the filling for our little appetizers that we're making here. They're gonna be like sausage and cheese pockets. Okay fam, I wanted you guys to know I'm just using half of my ingredients because like I said, I've never tried this. So I'm just using half a stick of just ordinary Philadelphia cream cheese. As you can see, I have some green onions already chopped up here. So we're gonna add some finely chopped green onions. Okay fam, so we're just gonna Kind of blend this together. You can soften your cream cheese a little bit, but I wouldn't put it in the microwave for too long. I just let it simp sit out um, at room temp, maybe 15, 20 minutes before you get ready to use it. So really simple and easy to blend. Okay fam, so we're just taking some ordinary pie crust here. I am not making any fresh dough. We're just gonna lay that out. And let me get my rolling pin. Forgot about that. So we're just going to roll this out very gently. I'm going to start with some generous squares first. But I'm going to make some generous larger squares here just so my little purse pockets are kind of full and filled up. So I'm only going with six of them here, as you can see. And then what I'm gonna do is kind of roll those out just a little bit individually. But anyway, let's go ahead and get started. We're just gonna start with, I'm gonna start with one of the larger ones just to make life easy for me. So I'm just gonna take one of these one of our little square pie shells here that we've created, one of our little squares. Okay, now you guys, we're just gonna pinch these corners up, kind of making a little cute little purse or pocket here. And there, let me pick it up so you guys can see that. Turned out super cute. And we're going to do one with just our veggies as well. So we'll do a little bit of cream cheese again. Then you can put a few mushrooms on this one. I did a little bit of broccoli there. I actually love spinach, so we're just going to put that spinach on top as well. And one more little piece of broccoli. And we're going to do the same here. This one turned out very cute. Can't wait to get them in the oven. So I'm going to finish the rest and pop them in the oven. Oh my gosh, you guys, um, I just made the best mistake ever. So I had some of the leftover sausage, you know, when we were putting it into the pouches and the cream cheese, because I was like, I don't have enough dough to fill them up um, to make some more. So I just took the cream cheese and the um, sausage and dumped them in together. And then I started melting it with the green onions. And then I thought, 
Hmm, let me add a little bit more cheese. So I just kind of made a mistake dip and it is so delicious. Oh my gosh. Okay, fam, I think they turned out great, but let's taste them and see first. I thought I was cute, was trying something a little different, trying to make like a little roll. Mm, didn't turn out that great, but the other ones turned out pretty cute. Now let's do a taste test here. Mmm, turned out really good. Oh my gosh, hold on. Mm -mm. A little dance, you know, when it tastes good, you gotta do a little dance. I taste okay. the crust, which is buttery. Mmm, I could taste that fennel and the sausage, the green onions. Um, and then the cream cheese, so I'll blend it together. It tastes really well. So, I like it. Something that I just wanted to try with you guys. Like I said, I just thought of this today. <laughs> it popped in my head, so I said, I'm going to get on and make a quick appetizer um, when it's close to dinner time anyway. Um, and so maybe you guys can try it at home. Add some of your favorite things, like if you like hot peppers, add a little bit of peppers, a little bit of flair. Um, to yours. Thank you guys so much for joining me today here on Life Inspired with Mo in my favorite place in the kitchen. And I will see you guys next time, okay? Bye-bye.